what's up guys Jeep Gary here today finally got all my fittings for my exhaust so I'm gonna straight pipe Jeep today so it's a pain in the ass to get anything through the mail right now so yeah let's get started first thing I need to do hammer that in there to convert it to my mega three inch pipe so let's start by doing that I'd like to thank today's sponsor millimeters who would have guessed it's a beautiful windy day today oh genius put this on after this is not a tutorial by the way hey are you home Oh. There, that makes more sense. This is going to be a pain in my ass. Oh, of course you fall out. That's cool. The weather was beautiful yesterday. Of course, my parts weren't here yesterday. I'm not that good at crunches. Forgot to mention I did a tune with uh, Super Chips. I'll put that in here somewhere. Sorry, my hair's a mess. My cousin sent me this, Super Chips F4, Let's see if I figure it out, I don't have any instructions. Turn the ignition on it, it says. Initialization. I'm going to go here to tune vehicle, quick tune. Please make sure the volume are off, and hit continue. Telling me to turn my ignition off. Ignition off. Let me turn my ignition back on. Do not start engine. Now it says select tune level. So just go performance. Why not? Alright, installing the performance program. Turn ignition off. Press OK to continue. Has tuning installed. So I'm just verifying my tune. Programmed. Okay. I'll go top this off with some 93. Call it a day. Do I have a 15 millimeter wrench? Probably not. Stupid metric system. I'm back. Okay. I had to go search for a 15 millimeter. Found it. I realized if I have the bolts at the top that it will work better and I can get to it. We're learning together folks. This is a team effort. <sighs> now for the big ass pipe. I can feel it. what I'm trying to do. I only want the pipe to uh, stop before the gas tank and not go all the way out. So I gotta cut it like an inch or two. Back, cut the pipe about a few inches off. It's gonna go this way. Yep. See, this is what I was talking about. See, the pipe terminates above the rear axle. Don't pay attention to my sloppy gut. No one's gonna see it. I just need to put this other clamp on and get the hanger put on. This way. So I got a bunch of Flowmaster pipe left over. I had to order six pieces. I only needed this one piece. So, if anybody wants any Flowmaster pipe, send me an email. Check out what I fabricated, quote unquote. This little piece was the most pain in the ass to find. So this is the cat, catalytic converter. You find this piece that goes from the catalytic converter to the pipe. It took me forever. Reducer here from three inches down to two inches. It's not a leak-free system. 
because it is not welded at the seams which means there's still a chance that exhaust fumes and carbon monoxide and all that scary stuff will come out so since you're supposed to weld each seam I guess and I'm not a welder so if you ever go parking somewhere with your girlfriend or whatever and it's cold you know don't leave your car running because you'll both catch the forever sleep and so what have we learned oh come that's not a good thing I'm gonna crank it up I'll come back with a Dremel cut the uh, big ass stud off Got everything cleaned up beside myself. Let's go take it for a little spin. Sounds really nice. successful mission. I guess the next thing I have left to do is just fix my speedometer. That seems like a challenge. So I'll probably bring you along for that. I'm also filming a fishing mini series on the channel with a special guest so stick around for that. Anyways, see you on the next video. Come back now. Mm -hmm.